Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel, and today it's time for a shave video. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. Oh yes, this will be the second to last showdown of my original series of the blade showdowns and so <clears throat> i have both of these razors already loaded up thank you to my beautiful wife one razor has a gillette super thin and the other one has a gillette 365. i'm not sure which one's in there but i can tell you it's going to be a showdown today's shave soap is by shannon's and this is lady luck I have had this on the channel before, and wow, what a scent. This has a nice amber scent to it, and I'm picking up a little bit of bergamot and some sandalwood, and this really is a nice scent. There's what the soap looks like. It's been sitting in my cabinet for a while, and it just spoke out to me. I'll be using the matching aftershave splash. I do have that whipped up in the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And wow, that soap has no problem coming to life. And I do have it a little on the thin side today, but sometimes I like to run them a little thin. And then on top of, let's see, yeah, so it's not, it's not too thin, but, uh, when you're wetting your face and uh, all that stuff, it can make it a little bit thinner, but it's right where I like it to be. I used a quarter of a teaspoon and 11 milliliters of water. And that's where it liked it. I liked it. <laughs> Just gonna get a little bit more lathering action. And as you guys can tell, I need a haircut. <laughs> I would have done it a little earlier, but I didn't. I haven't. And there's a good reason for it. And that brings me to my apologies for not putting up a shave video on Sunday. <sighs> well, since probably about Thursday, my back has just been killing me. And no fun, no fun. So I couldn't really stand long enough to do a video and I had thought about doing one sitting down but my mind and my mood was just not in it and I thought you know what instead of putting up a video that's subpar I'll just not put one up at all because if you're not in the mood it will reflect in the video so all right razor number one here we go. This razor feels pretty sharp, this blade. Oh yeah, nice and close. And between these two blades, one is definitely sharper than the other. And one is just a little smoother than the other. I don't know why, but it sure seemed like I had just did this shave video. <laughs> All right, here is razor number two. Go ahead and warm that one up. And let's get the shave going for blade number two. Now, I can tell you this blade is a little smoother. Not quite as sharp, and it is, let me just feel here again. This side is definitely, this side is closer than this side, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the shave out here on, the, on my neck. That's usually the big telltale sign for me. So 
So out of these two razors, I'm gonna say that this blade here, see you can't even trick yourself if you want to. <laughs> I wanna say this one here is the Gillette 365 and this one is the um, Gillette Super Thin. And because of that, I feel like it's closer, a closer shave and it's sharper, but not as smooth as this one. And so <clears throat> let's go ahead and open this one up. And for some reason, my handles are wanting to roll off. All right, there we go. 365 loses on this particular battle. And so next week will be the final of this particular series. Wow, isn't that crazy? It seems like it just started the other day. But then at times I thought, will I ever get through this? Because originally I was going to do like a 32 blade. And I think that would, would have taken a very long time. Did I mention that I'm using this beautiful Trotter's handcraft brush? Look at that thing. Beautiful. Nice classic black. And since I had talked so much, it seemed like my uh, lather or the residual part kind of dried up on me. So, but you can see it now. Very nice. All right. So the winning blade. Oh, speaking of the winning blade, let me just put up right here the chart of where we are at because I forgot to do that in several videos just because when I was editing, I didn't say something about it and it just skipped my mind. So I apologize for that as well. <clears throat> here we go. Pass number two across the grain. I was looking to see where I was at on time. Time. <laughs> Something we all want more of, but cannot get enough. switch it up on you guys a little bit <laughs> oh boy the scent on this is very nice i've been thinking about doing some soap videos let me know in the comments below would you like to see a video of say the top five of my shannon soaps or Sterling, or whatever. And the one nice thing about that is next year I may have a different, something different that I've liked or grown to like, or maybe my nose picks up something different and says, ooh, this is it. So let me go get cleaned up with some cold water and I will be right back. Well, the shave is coming to an end quickly. I do have the matching aftershave splash, and this is one that you can clearly see needs to have some shaking done to it because it does separate, which is, you know, not a big deal. But you definitely want to shake it. I will say that this aftershave splash well how can I say this I do like the scent it, to me it's not my favorite it just seems a little a little watery 
no menthol. And I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure there is. It does say that there is a hint of menthol in there, but no, no alcohol. And maybe that's why it just takes a little while to actually, you know, soak in. But I've never really looked too hard into that. And I'm going to follow that up with some star jelly. If you put too much of that splash on and then you try for your star jelly, it's just not going to soak in. And the thing that I really enjoy about the star jelly is once it's dried, it's um, you can tell that there is an aftershave balm on, but it's not greasy and it's not sticky. And so it's just, I don't know, it's got a nice, just a nice feel to it. All right, well, that is the shave for today. I will see you guys on Sunday's shave. You have a great rest of your week.